take this back too. We, we know we don't need anything else. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're live. Huh? We're live. Why are we live? Um, That's fine. What up? How are you? I'm here. You're here? You're ready? No, not at all. Um, you got something to eat at least? Why not? Because my wife isn't going to take care of me and I'm not Where really going to go. Is your coming? No, Keller's being kind of a little shit. Aw, oh, that's why it's pretty good. Huh? Can you hear anything? Yeah, I hear you. I hear myself too. We're gonna go today. Have fun. Are you talking about the delay? Yeah. Yeah, it's on your headset only. You hear me now? It's a delay though too, isn't it? So you probably hear yourself in about 30 seconds from now. Okay. So this works. Turn that off, turn that down, turn that up. You can hear me though, right? I can still hear you. Okay. Can you hear your, me on the uh, headphone line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get my... What issue? So the reason that we did it this way is because in theory, we go to...
tell you now. Welcome fans to Eastern Washington and University of Idaho hockey game at the URC Cheney Washington. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Should be an interesting game tonight. Our broadcast foster partner will be here any minute with the rosters. Eastern just won the face off. Back to Pearly. Pearly up on the side. Browning, nice little between the leg pass. To the cry check down in the corner, far corner, battling two Idaho players. Idaho got the puck back, but Olmet stole it. Browning battling for it. Nice little play by Browning. He's going in all by himself. The cry check. Oh, he's nice little pass in front, a little too far for Z. Idaho around the four, out their side, come bringing it out. Near side, nice little play by 17. Again, I'm sorry, I don't know the names right now. I'm waiting for a roster. But a nice little play, play by Idaho. Eastern stills back up. Downing over to the cry check. In between, nice little move right there. Out front, the guy kept a little whip around. Idaho intercepts it. All the way around Idaho's net. a little crowd here tonight, so if you're wondering what to do, come on out to the hockey game with the URC. If not that, make sure you're at the Barrel House after the game, meet some of the players, have some great food. Excellent place to eat. Stevenson drops the puck all the way down in. Idaho intercepts. Stevenson has it again, dropped it in deep. Far side out, Idaho bounced it up off the board. Intercepted by, looks like Shaw, I think. Nice little shot by Eastern, stopped by Stevenson, who's kept it in. Does a quick little dangle, and it went off the net. Like I said, folks, if you're down in Cheney tonight, come on out to the game. Eastern's been playing extremely good hockey this season. The whole season they played really well. They had a little tough time in Butte, Montana. But they were missing quite a few players for that game. So they did a nice job overall. And here's my broadcast partner, Travis Allen, come up with the roster. I, uh, sorry about that, folks, but I did get one printed. So a little delay there, but here we go. That's, uh, the That's why they have us here, to top notch, top notch top people notch working. Is that uh, volunteer stuff? It's, it's really good. Face offs coming all the way back into Idaho end. So, how uh, the first minute and a half looked there? It looked real good. Eastern came out jumping, but that's what I was trying to say earlier. Eastern's played really well. I wasn't in Butte. They had a tough couple games down there, but overall, they played well this season. Yeah, this will be the last game of the. First half of the season here, we'll just need one point to clinch up the regular season title against Idaho, but it's, uh, probably I've said it's exceeded expectations for Pat Hanlon, talking to him earlier before the game, about how we did the first half of the season, so. Hanlon's done a nice job with this club this year. As uh, some of you folks can notice out there, we got a few players back tonight. We got Captain Zach Minderman making his first game back since a upper body injury. Playing with a customized glove there on his right hand. Then you got Zach Micah's back from a upper body injury. who had to miss three games over the Montana stand. But for the most part, uh, only a couple injuries left for the Eagles, but everybody seems to be pretty healthy. Well, that's going to help Easter with Michael back. He's a solid little hockey player. He is. But right now they're just kind of filling each other out. Eastern's putting a little more pressure on than Idaho. Nice little break. Nice stop by Johnson. T pushed it out. Kicked it on up. This line has just been incredible. I mean, it's a crowd check coming in the weekend. was 24th in the nation of points. And, oh, big save by O'Donnell. That was an excellent save by McDonald. That puck had nothing but in the back of the net. He did a nice job of 
again is glove hand behind his back and, and st st stuffed it. Yeah, I know with uh, the Karate Check, 24th in the nation of points. Um, Morgan Rett, I believe, about 35th, and Luke Brown is just kind of right there, still doing well, and it's it's definitely it's it's definitely nice to see a line like that clicking. Well, Idaho is giving a whirl right now. Um, they're having some outstanding play from Hicks early in the game, along with Doan, who's playing a solid defense. He just dropped the puck all the way into Eastern's end. Doan, one timer, nice one -timer. shot to him. McDonald did a great job of pushing that off to the side. Trying to figure out who number 17 is for the Vandals right now. It is interesting folks out there. Some of the numbers are not aligning with the players or we don't have the number on the roster. We'll get that straightened out before the uh, set the pitch. So there you yeah, go. That's Shaw. Who's Shaw? Surprise anybody there? I didn't even have to look at his skates and I could tell it was him. Oh, yeah, yeah, little nice white skates. Glad to see he's got some regular colored laces back in those things. That pink was pretty brutal. I know. Nice color combo, I thought. So you were telling me down there in uh, Butte, nice hit. That was a great hit. I'm trying to find out who. It was Minderman. That was a heck of a hit by him. He just buried Hicks along the side of the board. It's definitely nice to have Minderman back in the lineup, that's for sure. Well, he's a feisty player, and, and he brings him a lot of energy, and he, and he uses his muscle a lot, too. Looks like Idaho is going to get a penalty, or at least the box is open. They are. Sewell's going in the box, but I did not see what he did. I didn't either. Hopefully we'll call up here in a second. Nice face-off win by the Eves. Boring looking for Pearly up there on the point. Pearly back down to the letter. Let just pass his stick. That's one, da one dangerous line out there on the ice for the Eagles, all five of those players right there. That's a solid lineup they have out there. But again, that's where you got to give Hanlon credit because he's, he mixes up that power play a lot. Shot, turn side by the Vandals. Puck being able to clear it out. Looks like it's going to crawl all the way back down. O'Donnell's come out of his net to play it. He again with a signature pass up the boards. Brody lets it go. Let tries to make a fancy move, just can't get it past the player. And we got to cry check now for the zones. Oh, excuse me, that's boring by his own net. Third man to the cry check. Turns it back down, and now we've got to cry check looking for the one timer just wide. Let shot just past the goaltender there. At least one thing Eastern has, Idaho scrambling right now on this power play. Idaho's just not quite sure how they want to line up. 35 seconds for being on a penalty. Nice job by Isaiah Lee. He dumped all the way down after stealing the puck from an Eastern player. Shot all the way down. Smith for Eastern. Gets across the red line and he'll take it all the way in. Shot off the pads. Turn back into Smith's stick. Smith head it up. To Stevenson, Stevenson chips in the corner for Jeff. Eight seconds remaining on this power play for Eastern, and O'Donnell now to the net. He fires it up, gets it to Otnes. Otnes looks for Jeff just past the stick, and we are five aside hockey again. Stevenson, what a nice move there. Nice job by Sewell. He took it from end to end. A little, little dump off for Idaho. Sprinkle has the puck down low for Idaho. Nice little chop there. This game to me seems like it's going to get interesting 
the later stages of. You look just at the benches, and Eastern has 20 guys suited, and Idaho only was able to uh, get 11 guys to come up for this game. So it'll, it'll be interesting if Hanlon realizes that, and he does a lot of quick subbing. Oh, nice shot by Moen. He's trying to wait for it. Donald did a great job of blocking that one. Shaw looks like he got a little pep in his step he tonight, does. a little bit more than normal. Well, you know, this is the first game of the weekend, so it's, it's Shaw. It's nice of Shaw to be able to join us. We had a nice sponsor meeting with uh, Played Against Sports last night at the Barrel House, and Shaw was able to come down and kind of give a player input. So you'll see the south end of the new Played Against Sports banner hanging up. So we can't thank them enough and every, all, the, all the other sponsors for everything they do for the program and the boys. I'd say right now, I think Eastern's probably pretty confident on getting there. The banner hung up there by the roost. That's right. Well, I, I should probably move that banner where the banner's supposed to be hung, but... I like it. I, I like it. I like it because we get a good look at it. Yeah, Stevenson took on two Idaho players right there and almost split them both. Kid's got a great game. He I does. said that from the get-go, but he, he just continually plays well every game. Okay. What we need to do is get... Uh, Rink manager Jamie Glenn to start hanging them from the rafters. Maybe maybe retire the old number five worn by Allen. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> well, that did a nice job. Nice breakup by Kraya check, and he continues that to his point streak. I didn't see anything by the official saying it is, was a goal, but it looks like it. Yeah, no, that was a. Ouellette was able to see the Kraya check from across. Far post and the crack check the goalie made the initial save and the crack check just kept with him was able to sneak behind him. Well I'm totally surprised right now any team that has played Eastern by now or have scouted them, they gotta know they have to put a shadow on the cry check. If they don't, he's gonna get two, three goals a game. Oh, that yeah. guy's that good. He's phenomenal. It's good to see I saw his parents here earlier. Nice folks. Yep, they were sitting right here to our left. Well, we'll see the, how this really sparks Eastern and what it does to Idaho because they're kind of sluggish right now. So Krajacek looking for Boring. Boring unable to finish the shot though, but Ouellette. Pass up to Purley who'll find back around to Brownie behind the net. Race to look to Stevenson and I'm not sure who that is for you I. That was Johnson. Johnson. Johnson actually is bringing it up now again. He dumped it all the way in. Pierce, he took a big hit from Pearlie. Of course, that's Pearlie's game, so you expect that too. It is. I know the boys are excited to have Pearlie back in the lineup. He was unable to make that Montana Tech trip just due uh, to some I'll, school. So. I was going to ask you if he was down there, how'd he do down there? And, uh, he did. And um, did well at State, and then that's that tough back-to-back -to -back road trip of having to leave Friday and missing school, and so Pearlie had a couple tests, and that's what it's all about. I mean, that's unfortunately the, the nature of the game. I know it's not the same as when they uh, play juniors, but go past classes, you can't play. Good. <laughs> School's important. It's a lifelong learner. Nice little stop by, I think. I think Idaho has Grover in net tonight. Is that the same goalie that played in the tournament last year? Yeah, if it is, he's outstanding. This kid was excellent. I'm not sure if it's the same goalie, but if it is, uh, this could be a low scoring game because that guy alone uh, probably saves Idaho five, six goals a night against him. Yeah, I remember watching that when I was up on uh, the island. And remember, he had one lights out game against Western. We'll have to, uh, kid took a good shot, so we'll have to give him not too hard of a time. But apparently, he left his jersey back home. And uh, Idaho really, really short on jerseys this year. They ordered a set of jerseys just haven't shown up yet so they don't have any extras and so they don't have to dig them up a yellow jersey but definitely uh, even the president said to make sure we give them a hard time on the air. Well that, that off color jersey made him stand out and the pry check buried him on the boards. <laughs> and I asked if he forgot his helmet too. Right? The blue helmet's a little unique but. Got a little, little scrum right there in the front lead in particular care. You can definitely tell now that uh, Eastern's taking the play to Idaho. 
And I'm pretty sure Eastern's aware all they have to do is pop a point tonight and then clinch yep. the league. I was so. in uh, the locker room doing a couple helmet cage swaps for the boys before pregame, and Pat made sure he told them. And we apologize for yesterday's game. we got another school in the but we're going to try to get that game rescheduled either for a Sunday night or a Thursday night game so we can make sure we get all, all the games played with the University of Idaho, but that will happen next quarter. But I would like to, in between periods, take a look to see if Grover was the same net miner last year for Idaho, because he was very impressive. Are they able to clear it back for the Eagles is Jess. Jeff loses the puck, and puck gets by O'Donnell. Oh man, that was almost disastrous. Pierce did an outstanding job for Idaho. You got to give him credit on that. Not only did he pickpock the Eastern player, but he went in and took a shot, and then he stuck with it and almost stuck it in between the post and the pad of McDonald. Nice job by Pierce. Eastern with a lucky bounce there, so that uh, well, that's what you got to you got to yep. stick with it too, and that's what he did. He didn't just take a shot and just kind of glided. He went right into the net. Ooh, he went almost off the races there. That was spooky. Don almost had his pocket picked. And that's a cryo check and Latin Brown in a little three on one. And the back end works. Not that I wouldn't be a big fan of it, but it was a cryo check and Latin from Browning. How many times we said that this year? Well, actually, I stand correct, and I think it's Warren in net for Idaho. And uh, he had no hope on that play. He went no. he followed to the cry check. Nice little pass over in front of the crease. Easy tap in. But yes, I stand correct. It looks like Warren's in net tonight. Just like that, your Eagles are up 2 nothing on the Vandals with eight minutes remaining here in the first period. Nice little stop by Warren. I don't know. I keep getting a feeling. It just has a feel of a blowout right it, it now. Kinda, it, it's got it in the air tonight. It's kind of got that weird, unique kind of calmness, if you would. This is you don't see Eastern kind of scrambling around like you have before. They're calm, composed, and and that's uh oh, and their coach takes the puck. So hopefully he's all right down there. Well, Gusman did a nice job on that faceoff for Eastern. It just got by him, and the guy flipped it up into the Idaho fan. And uh, we've got to give credit where credit's due with Gustafson. He came to us and uh, was a little rough around the edges, if you will, as far as skill and technique, but really wanted to play the game with the guys. And so Coach Hanlon and Coach Watkins have worked with Gustafson, and he's showing up to practice, putting the work in, and uh, he is getting kind of a regular shift now for the Eags. Uh, good for him. Michael back to Pearly. Pearly will bounce past it for Smith, unable to get to it. You probably start calling him Yellow Jacket. <laughs> that jersey. Stevenson! Oh, oh nice oh. shot for Stevenson, except I think the goalie would like that one yeah, back. Yeah, he definitely wants that one back. But what Stevenson did, he crossed over the blue line and cut over, and he did a quick little snapshot, and I think it got the goalie off guard. I, I thought. Just looking at it, the goalie thought he was going to come in a little bit further and just did a quick little yep. snapper. Kind of got him by surprise right there. It's kind of sounded like it went off a blocker, then off the post, and then in. Well, 3-0 right now with 7.14 left. Uh, Idaho is going to have to do something quickly. Shot difference was 10-5 in the Eastern's favor, but it's been all the Eagles for the last at uh, least 10 minutes. Charles, Charles in deep. Nice little drop pass. Oops. Shaw wants to get in the action, get a couple points tonight too, it looks nice like. nice for Shaw to get there. He's got that new stick that he's liking, the white wheels, and hopefully, uh, oh, wow, that's how you know you got a rep around the league. That guy saw Shaw coming and just pulled up. Well, Tadakus had the puck, and, and he was looking for it. It looked like he was looking for Johnson, and Johnson let up, and then he had nowhere to go. And then Shaw came in the picture, and... Nice to see Sam Gilling back too. He hadn't missed the second game in Montana. But it's nice to see him back in the lineup. He's another one of those kids that just works really hard and really coachable. And that's the kind of kids you want. I mean, it, you have all the skill in the world, but if you don't listen to what the coach says, it uh, doesn't do you any good. Well, Sprinkle did not care for what Charles did. Gave him a little stick toward the end. 
which I give Shaw credit for. He didn't respond right there, but he should uh, looking at him heavily right now. But that's a good time to walk away right now. There's no reason to get anything going. We got plenty of time here. Plenty of time to get. Yellow jacket out there for the, for the Vandals. He's a, he's a pretty decent hockey player. He is. I just don't know who he is. Zakaria check him in the zone. His shot turned aside. He just goes right around the defender there. Pulls up. Oh! Zakaria check went through the goalie. Well, it looked like danger. Drops the Kaichek on top of his own goalie. Um, no volition intent by the Kaichek. No. He, he just got hit into him. But if you look at that, how that play got set up, Pete, is that the Browning? I've been growing on him all year, but there's a good example. He took two Idaho players, took them on, took the puck, and pushed it up to the Kaichek, who got the easy skate in. Uh, that Browning plays hard. Yeah, he does. Sakai checks has a wraparound. Door yeah. shut by uh, the goaltender there. I like what Jeff did on that time. He, he just played coy and jumped into the play. Unfortunately, they couldn't see him. But that would have been a nice one-timer. But that's just heads up hockey. Jeff wasn't going to stand around at the blue line. He was getting himself open and did a nice little move down. Just right into the slot. So you were down there in Butte. Well, well, how is Butte nowadays? It's, it's about the same as it was about 10 years ago. It's uh, Not much has changed. There's no Hastings video, and that's about the biggest change they got. Well, that's good to hear. It's yeah, good to hear. You know. Some things don't need to change. It's still cold. Yeah. Pierce bring the puck up. Passes on over to Sprinkle. McKay with a nice defensive play. He's able to get the puck cleared up to Michael. That was an excellent play by McKay there. Michael over to Kapelke. Kapelke now with a new stick. Okay, see the Spokane Chiefs. Gets over to Maiko. Maiko shot turned just aside by the blocker there. The puck is another good hockey player. He's he just solid. He doesn't stand out, but he doesn't cause any... He doesn't make any errors. Just a nice game by him. Always hustling. Yep. Kapelke, fun story about him. My first year back in uh, involved with hockey, I was coaching a youth team, and Kapelke was on it. So... Oh, really? Yeah, I co-coached that with Shane Smith, who just took a big hit there. So, <laughs> must have been your coach in the guy, Kapelke, going like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think I could take that kind of credit. But uh, but he's a solid little hockey player. He just constantly is going. And, and he, like I said, he doesn't cause any trouble. He doesn't make any errors, but he's really solid. And he's always offensive-minded. Yeah, no, I know. is one of those kids to have a pretty good conversation with him uh, probably once or twice a week. And his big thing is... He came from a kind of a house program where the game speed is a little bit slower. So you finally start to see him, Stevenson, just undressing a guy right there. <laughs> that was a nice bang, a nice little shot yeah. on that. Yeah, no, Kapelke just now he says he's kind of getting used to the speed of the game, and you can definitely tell that he's uh, starting to be noticed a little bit more and get a little bit more ice time. Oh, and we have a first Eagles penalty for the game, and they're going to get him for tripping. Who's going to the box? Is that oddness? Well, there was a little battle between a couple of players. One from Idaho, one from Eastern. I don't know who they got. The Keegan Oddness there. Yep. Keegan Oddness, two minutes for tripping. Well, if Idaho's going to try to get back in this game, this is the time to do it. Uh -huh. Because they have been thoroughly outplayed for a good 13 minutes now. O'Donnell covers up there. That was a really nice play by Sewell from Idaho. He didn't even try to draw back. What he did was he shot it toward the net, stepped around the player, and got a nice little shot on that. Browning. Sewell has it again. Drops it in deep. Oh, nice look there. I know Donald shuts the door like he's done many times before. Well, Lee did a great job of finding Peterson in the low slot. One time shot. McDonald did a nice job of tracking it on that. Looks like right now Idaho is stepping up a little bit. Their game, their whole skating has really improved in the last minute, minute and a half. They got a little life. Maybe it's a power play. And then Luke Browning. 
the roulette here on the shorthanded. Two on one. Unable to get a good shot on, but kills uh, about 10 seconds of that penalty there. Hicks was trying to find Johnson, and Johnson veered off to the left, and I think he thought it was going to go to the right. So now Idaho has it behind their net, bringing it up. Luke Brown with a great hand-eye coordination right there to be able to knock that puck out of the air. Tries well, to get to a left, but a uh, nice defense there by Idaho. Well, I don't think Dolan was expecting him to come in like that quick on him. Pierce has the puck. He's, a, he's been playing well tonight, too, though. There's been a couple of Idaho players that have stood out. 40 Pierce, seconds remaining here on the penalty. And Pierce is definitely one of them. Moan's another guy that has stood out for Idaho. Nice little deke there for 16. Yeah, and Lee has a good game. He has a solid game. He's got the puck behind the net. Nice little floater pass out. Sewell took a wind up, but nice little block. I think it was Smith that blocked it. Eastern with numbers here. 18 to go on the penalty kill. Smith throws it in front of the net. Boring, unable to make connections. And uh, the Eagles pretty well manhandling this penalty kill right now. Otis will be coming out of the box now. Eagles are at full strength. Oh. Straight to the bench. Oh, nice. That, that was a nice play by Idaho. Moen saw Pierce all alone. Did a nice little cross ice pass. Pierce did it one time and McDonald outstanding save again on that one. But that's all you say with McDonald. That's all you yeah, every time. I mean, usually he makes outstanding saves. So. Was he down in Butte? Was McDonald down in Butte? He was. Um, I don't know how good games actually. Butte's a fun atmosphere. If you've never been here to the URC, it's one of those. I'd say it's probably the most family-friendly barn in, in the, at least in the conference, that's for sure. Smith Kapelke trying to get something done, but turned aside. But, uh, yeah, no, you go to Butte, they've got a nice beer garden, and they've got a great student section, but it was actually pretty funny. Uh, they have the beer garden overlooking the visitor's net for two of the periods, and you could, uh, they, they let O'Donnell know that they thought he was number one. That's good. That's good. He, he, he is. He, he's a good goaltender. Jeff's able to get a free. Now you got Shaw coming up near wing to us. Shaw pull up, pick a shot. It goes wide. Minderman able to get on the puck with attack. Minderman's adapted really well for not being able to bend that right wrist of his. Yeah. He will touch up on side and uh, go around that four check again. A minute remaining here in the first period. Jeff's it. He's playing forward now. He's all over it. I like it. Browning looking for Sakrai check. Sakrai check back to Browning. Browning. Nice save there. So tick tap pass. Boom. Browning was on top of it. Warren tracked out really well, but that was a nice little give and go by Sakrai check and Browning. That's a nice pairing they have. It is. That whole line's good together. It really is. Out there for the you've got Smith Otness. And I can't tell. That's Michael in the wing there. Pass deflected. Johnson did a nice job of stealing that puck. Down to Pierce. Pierce shot the puck a little bit wide. Johnson has it again for Idaho. Stevenson now passed the man. Eags have a four on two. Stevenson looking for somebody. Waits a little too long. Great defense possession there. Oh, that was a good defense to play by Tadis. 20 seconds remaining here in the period. Purley had that guy lined up, kind of pulled up right at the second. That was a Merry Christmas from Colin Purley there. Uh, well, Pier Pierce was looking for his one player, so I think he was trying to figure out if he could make a quick deke on Purley, and he did, and he just floated the puck in. That'll do it for us here in the first period at the URC. Eastern Eagles three, Ida Vandal zero. The story up here, all Eastern. Well, yeah, if you were Coach Hanlon, you gotta be ecstatic how they played that first period. Um, I give Idaho credit. They tried to come back in about a three minute span, but they just seem to be a little bit slower than Eastern right now. But again, like you said, Eastern knows they gotta get one point and they win the, the title for the league, so. 
the motor men would definitely shift with them on that one but, but Idaho needs to come out and match some of this intensity that Eastern's doing right now but we're going to step away for a little bit folks got about 19 minutes and uh, come back if you can come on out to the game if or if you're downtown Cheney, swing on down to the Barrel House, get some food, wait till live for the game, meet some of the players. Anyway, we'll see in about 19 minutes.
Welcome back, hockey fans. Your Eagles are up 3-0. Getting ready to start the second period. Trav, what's your takeaway from that first period? Uh, all Eagles. All Eagles. Yeah, there wasn't much you could really say about Idaho. They had a couple spurts, and then um, they seemed to fizzle out again. And uh, it's been a tough situation going, you know, having uh, 11 guys. And, you know, and a lot of the five of the had to check the last time to get back to the class. Maybe uh, do a little bit of uh, driving lag, if you will. Yeah, yeah, that would that, would, that could hurt you. But again, uh, but you, you, you got to give credit to Eastern. They're just a good hockey club. They are an excellent hockey club. I was looking at the record, 11-8-1. And, and a couple of those games I saw they lost, they could have easily won those. So, they was having a good year. And um, Idaho's run up against the both side, especially since they know they only need one point tonight to clinch it. So... Uh, it's definitely like that we can see. I hate to say this, but it all kind of really depends on which Eagles team shows up. And it seems like uh, it's a good one who's definitely showed up tonight. Well, I mean, a lot of momentum for Eastern, knowing that they can clinch it tonight. And I'm not sure where Idaho is in the standing. So if they don't have any kind of shot at winning it, I can see where Eastern would come out with a little more pop. Really, after unless there's a huge swing in this game, Idaho and Western are kind of they're battling each other for that second seed. And unfortunately, that's going to be the tough part with uh, Portland State unable to, you know, field the team this year. It's going to be an Idaho Western, you know, opening night of the tournament with uh, Eastern. If it continues going the way it is with that Friday night bye and whoever wins that on a Saturday night championship matchup. Well, like I said earlier, it'll be nice seeing that a banner up there on the, the wall. That was their that was their goal this year. They wanted the banner. They wanted to bring the banner back. Definitely, uh, I know Western gave them a lot of flack about it, but first year they won it. So now that uh, when Western won it last year, our guys are definitely a little salty about it. Want it back? Well, Eastern definitely at the start of this period picked up where they left off. The uh, the plays all of it. So far, has been in Idaho's hand. Get a soft icing here. Send the puck down Idaho's end. So, a play of the game sports and had a little gathering at the Apple Bell or the Bell House last night. Yep, we started discussing some gear for next year and what we're looking like and potentially adding a third jersey for the Eastern's lineup. So, definitely a good meeting with those gentlemen. Uh, played against sports, they're a top-notch outfit. They've been around for a long time in Spokane. They have. One of the big things with them that's nice is they've got that national buying power. So we're able to get a pretty good team discount. We did some team discounts through Hockey Source and Hockey Armor before, too. But it's kind of just nice to be able just to text somebody and say, hey, I need this, need that, and get a quick text back. And Well, so far, all your sponsors that I've seen, like Barrel House has been outstanding every time I've been down there. They've they're what, great bend over backwards to make sure everything was done right so that was very impressive yep, I'm already familiar with play it again sports so Stevenson with the still with the sweet moves Stevenson's looking for a second goal he wants it really bad tonight talking a little bit in the tunnel between the periods and he just definitely he fired up but again you can just watch the difference in play right now Eastern's just doing whatever they want to um, and if they wouldn't stop losing the puck, they'd be in Idaho's end this whole period. But you're right. you got to give Idaho a little bit of credit because they had that big road trip over there in Seattle yesterday. They're a little bit short, so they got to be getting a little bit tired already. And Eastern just throwing everything at them. Well, and, uh, they already did better in Western. They set up for the second period. So... Puck here, neutral, neutral ice. Captain Zach Miniman on the chase. 
you look at a couple of players like Dawn Fried holds outstanding tonight. Oh, yeah. Pierce is playing really, really well. Mullen's playing really oh. hard. That was a huge hit by Shaw. Oh, just freight train the guy. Yes. Unfortunately, I think um, Watney had his head down and uh, Shaw let him know not to do that anymore. That was a big hit. That was one of those hits, Steve, that fell all the way up yep, here. Yeah, definitely. I, I felt it. Pierce is going in all by himself. A nice little shot on O'Donnell. Nice kick save. He just got caught in a bad change there, and I know making him pay with his shot on O'Donnell. Again, that's Pierce's skill level. He has a nice, nice feel for the game. Knows where to be, and he just picked up the puck and went end to end on that one. Nice little pass from Lee to Johnson. I know showing some signs of life yep. here. Pierce is passed up to Pierce. He lost, but Johnson has it again, trying to get it over to Pierce. Now Brownie for the East taking up the wing, followed by Jeff's new let. So now did, Lee did an outstanding job there, defense, who has the puck right now. He didn't go for the puck. He went for the man that stood him up, took the puck from him. Nice play. Now the offsides called here. 16-29 remaining here in the second period. New York Eagles up 3-0. Shot count 15-9 in favor of the Eagles. Now, second period kind of started a little bit at first. I know showing a little bit signs of life, but... Well, this, is a good, this is a good line for Idaho. Yes, it is. This is definitely a good uh -huh. line. Tackness, Pierce, and Lee's out there on the front line. And then you Ooh. got... If I'm not mistaken... They do have Johnson out there on this line also, so it's a solid little line for Idaho. Yeah, penalty here on the Eats tripping call called on looks like Travis McKay's gonna go to the box. The Eats on the penalty kill again here. Let's see if they can continue the same success they had in the first period. They did a great job on the uh, penalty kills and the power plays on it. Out there for the Eagles is going to be Shane Smith, Hayden Boring, Zach Michael, and uh, Luke Browning. Kind of hard to tell. Oh, no, nope, that's Sam Gilman. A little trouble with the clock right now. Pierce took the face off for Idaho. Gilman able to get the puck all the way down. Nice play by Gilman. Another player to keep an eye for on T from Idaho's Hicks. Number seven Hicks. He, he has a really good game also. He does. He's been around the league for a while, quite a while. I think uh, he's got to be close to beginning this senior. He's been playing here for at least three or four years. I see they line Pierce up with him on two on this power play. So that'll be interesting to see how they do. Johnson's out there on the front line also. Gilman battling down low. Michael causing all sorts of hectic and uh, now we're a little bit off of the races here. Don did a nice job harassing. He did, but the that's, player. That's Michael did what he needed to do there. Kill some time. Got a stoppage in there, and that's a, that's a good shift for Michael there on that penalty kill. Hey, again, I've said a, a lot over the year. He's just a good, solid hockey player. Well, it looks like Warren settled down a little bit on this one. Some of those shots have been pretty hard. Eastern's put on him, and he's done a nice job of blocking them. So he's coming around quite well after the first period. And definitely Shaw right there with the face-off loss, but able to get it back down to Idaho's end. Up there for the Eags on the penalty kill. They've got Minderman, Shaw, Boring, and Gilming still in the back end. I kid you not, I swear Shaw just looks to hit people. He doesn't worry about the puck. No. This is kind of the, the grinding line there for the Eagles. You got an interim and Shaw out there who love throwing the body. Boring just made the yellow jacket pay a little bit for that. And O'Donnell, a couple good shots step, stops there, and he was able to clear it again. Well, you talk about there, you look at Shaw. His game is to be real physical, but he can shoot the puck. He, he has a nice little shot on him, too. So he's just not all muscle. He has a good hockey sense of it. Just Krychek just buried, I think it was 
Sewell on the side of the board. Up to Boring, Boring off the races. Puck's gonna be just a little too far ahead of him and they'll cover up. I think it does the cry check if you watch that play. He took it all the way around the back of his net and purposely was looking up to find any kind of Eastern player breaking. And that's just good hockey sense on his part. Nine seconds remain in that final to Travis McKay. It is an interesting penalty, penalty yeah. kill line he's got out there. It's more offensive minor with Curley, the, the real defensive minor player out there for Eastern. Senorino Donald, nice shot, turns away. Puck still bouncing around with squirts in the corner. Zakaria check finds Ouellette, and we got Ouellette behind Zakaria check. Nice drop pass from Ouellette to Zakaria check. Zakaria check centers it out front. And Ouellette puck, big save. Looks like Warren thought Ouellette scored that yeah. goal. I, th I think everybody thought we scored that goal. Oh, big chance here for Idaho. And O'Donnell just robs him. Hicks, Hicks didn't know what to do. He threw up his arms. He thought he had that at the top shelf. By the last minute, O'Donnell glove hands it out of the air. And you could tell Hicks was a little frustrated on that. He thought he had that. I'm not sure what he's talking to the referee about. And maybe suddenly, can you believe he made that <laughs> stop on that one? I think he was complaining a little bit about Pearly trying to say he guy was getting hooked, but official Fisher was right there and uh no call. We let here with a breakaway. Top shelf, far down. Excellent shot. We let didn't even wait. He went. He saw Warren starting to go down in a butterfly. He just went top shelf over it. And that was a pretty that's shot. That, line. that was a pretty shot. That line is just dangerous. It is because if you now with Browning out there with this line too, he has some good offensive skills. So. We got Stevenson as the offensive defense man. You got Curley out there to just hold the fort down on that. That's a that's a real nice line to have out there. He basically got four shooters out there, and Curley can shoot the puck too. He has a wicked oh, slap shot. Uh, so that's a real good line to have. Peterson did a nice job of sealing the puck and took a nice shot on O'Donnell. <laughs> He's trying, I, uh, Peterson's been trying the whole game. He's using his body a lot. Nice little offensive player for Idaho. Smith getting a little physical Smith? out there tonight. Well, no, Smith's definitely been a little bit frustrated. I was talking to him last week and he's just, he's having a hard time getting those points out up for him this year. And I think it's one of those things where it kind of weighs on a kid that, you know, last, this is the second year at the Eagles, but three years ago, I think he had 40, 40 50 points at U18. And again, you know, as well as I know, is that once you get a first couple, two goals, then that really opens up the gates for you. Because um, he started off on fire on offense earlier this year, so it'll happen again for him. That was a nice little hit. Who was that? It's Kapelke. Yep. Jeff up the boards to McKay. McKay chips it off the glass. No leagues home there, but he will take this chance to uh, submit the road bench to change. McKay now with Stevenson. They'll bump it down low. Otten is now the first Eagle player out of the puck. He'll drop it off to Shaw. Shaw now trips it out front. Boy, didn't even see it, but went off his pad. Shaw the boy, one timer. Through traffic and nice save. Warren had to be on top of that one because that was a blister of a shot. But yeah, you're right. That one shot, Warren didn't even know it. it the, they took the shot and hit off of his pad and bounced innocently over to the far post. 11.56 left in the period. 19-12 shot differential in favor of the Eagles. Johnson picks up the puck right now. It's Pass it over to Hicks. Hicks Shaw with it. great <laughs> back checking. Oh! Pierce bounding it off the post. Oh. Wide open. Had all the time in the world to shoot and go his crossbar. That's tough. Again, Pierce off the glove handle now. But again, you got to give Idaho a lot of credit right now. They are, you can see they picked up their game this period. 
compared to the first. Shaw decides to take out one of his own oh. members too, so a two for one, if you will. Yeah, he got Doan on that hit too. Shaw is just head hunting right now. He's just hitting everything. Hitting his own players, hitting he's our own players. Hitting players. Hitting, that doesn't matter. He gotta like his game, I'm serious. He reminds me a lot of an old chief, Mike Haley. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yes. He'll hit you, he don't care. And that's the nice about Shaw. He'll, he'll put the puck in the back of the net. Oh, Manerman crushes a guy. This is definitely the Eastern checking line, that's for sure. Shaw now looking to get the puck out for the Eags. Able to do so. Manerman punks is another player. Holy cow. It might be their checking line, but I still, they can produce some points oh, on that can. line, too. It's definitely a skilled line. Boring chips it up to Lett, who kind of tries to get us a cry check just past the stick. Gustin takes a check for the Eats. One man show for Idaho here. Well, that's Hicks, and he's got a lot of offensive skill. And he was looking for Pierce, and Pierce is going off the ice, and so that's why the puck bounced in its lane down in the corner. Gustin sitting on the check for the Eagles. He's able to get the puck up for crowd checks. Crowd check over Roulette. Roulette, pretty toe drag. And big save, but that was pretty. That was an outstanding save, but Roulette's move was phenomenal. Oh, man. He just left the that was, player standing there. That was sweet. Was a nice little deke. It looked like he went over between his legs, also picked it up. And nice Ooh. job by the goalie, though. Because the way it was looking, it looked like he was going to bury oh, it in yeah. the back of the net. Michael on the four check for the Eags. Look for the pressure on. Gets the puck loose. Now Kapelke battling for the Eags down low. Sewell got the puck from Idaho. That was a good heads up play on his part. Smith able to get it. Smith with the backhand. It tries to get to Kapelke. Intercepted there. Puck all the way back down to the Eagles end. Pearly now. Moen did a nice job of intercepting that pass for Idaho. Stevenson out there playing with ice capades. Up to Pearly. Pearly tries to get it to Kelpie just off the skate. Puck still squirts down in that O's end. Lee, Lee dumps it up on top of the boards. And it looked like Sewell almost had it, but a nice job, I think. If I'm not mistaken. That was Hicks that did a nice job of running interference on that pass. Puck will come all the way back down to the Eagles end. Stevenson on the chase. He'll get there first and battling down low in the corner. Stevenson's doing a nice job of battling them right now. He is. Kapelke just gets the puck out of the end. Eagles looking to get a quick change here. We're going to get it. Oh, they're going to wait for the ice. No ice, okay. Puck back to Stevenson now behind his own net. He'll chip up to Minderman. Minderman just relays it on forward. Trishal Shaw, a little backhand pass to Otnes. That was a sweet pass. Very nice pass by Shaw. Don't turn it up for Idaho. Ooh, intercepted. Is that Minderman? That's Minderman yeah, right he there. intercepted the pass. Nice try for the hip check there. Minderman went right through the guy. Oh, that was a, that was, yeah, but he stopped it to Kyle's. Did a nice hip on that and just slowed Minerman down tremendously. There's no question Eastern picked up the body checking in this they period. They have. Uh, and it all started, I think, well, we can call it the checking line, but it all started with that line. There's Pierce again. He stole the puck from Eastern. And Pierce is shot high. O'Donnell just above his head. 7.30 remaining here in the second period. Roulette and Shaw battle on near boards to us. It'll score out to Roulette. Roulette's got Stevenson and Browning with them here. Three on one for the Eats. Tic-tac-toe. tic tac Oh, man. <laughs> that was just pretty. That was good. That's just sick. If, if you had a video of oh. how to do a three on one and tic-tac-toe basically pass, that was it. That was textbook there. That was, that was incredible. Oh, wow. And I, and I can't even word any of that yeah. except it was incredible. That was, uh, was that a lad who initially started to play yeah. on a beautiful pass by him? That, that was, wow. 
I'm sure maybe we get a uh, video guy, Tyler Pisani, to cut us a highlight reel on our website. If you're out there and you want, if you're a coach and you want to see how it's done, you need to look at that video because that was picture perfect. There's nothing the goaltender could have done there. No, zero, absolutely nothing. The okay. defenseman even did a nice job on that play. The crowd check with a fancy move between his legs. Well, he didn't, he didn't get a point on that play, so he, he's hungry right now. Yeah, the crowd check didn't get a point on that one. So he throws it out front. Peterson bringing it up for Idaho right now. Brown needs a crowd check on the four check. The crowd check has Ouellette on the far side. This is a crowd check. Shoots it just above the net. Now McKay keeps it in the end for the Eagles. I felt sorry for Lee on that play. The Ooh, project yeah. just went around him like he was just standing still. I don't think you realize how quick he is once he gets moving. He's got that first step that he'll yeah. just blows by guys. And that's he's real deceiving. It looks like he can't turn it up a gear, and then all of a sudden he's by you, and then you're looking at him. Right here. Gets puck poke checked away. They backhand shots it over to Zakaria check, and we're going to get an offsides here. He's got have to touch back up. He was going to change, but ill time change here. And I don't get on the board. That was a nice play by Hicks, but it all started with Peterson, who was coming in, did a nice little deke. And uh, O'Donnell tried to do what he can, but Hicks was a wide open net. That was a nice yeah, little play by Idaho. That's a tough one for O'Donnell to stop. Oh, God. For me, it started back here in the neutral zone. When it did. The Eagles were unable to get the puck deep and still made that change and had an odd man rush right out. And the Eagles were unable to, to recover from that. Well, don't got the puck initially from inside the red line and pass it up to Hicks, and he took over from there. We're going to give it to number seven. Oh, so that came right back. And I didn't see who it was so fast. That was a Michael. And, Michael. and uh, he did a nice little job. He froze Warren. And Warren thought he was going to go to his left, and right at the last second, he, he cut over, and, and it was a wide open far side on the net. That was like a sweet little play by him. It was. That's a so much for momentum for yeah. Idaho on that one, because that was what about 15 seconds, and Eastern answered back on that one. Yeah, Zach Michael unassisted with the goal there. You could see Idaho was gaining a little bit more because there's only a seven shot differential in favor of the Eagles right now, 22 15. So they were coming back, but that one hurt them. That, that, one, that one really hurt. Well, you can say one thing about Hanlon, he has his team playing hard because they didn't hang their head after giving up that one goal. They nope. came right back and scored again oh. quickly. Hicks is starting to throw his body around for Idaho. He is. Well, it's got to be getting frustrating for Idaho because they're actually playing a pretty good period this second period, and they have nothing to show for it, per se. They are. It's, I mean, that's just tough. I mean, you're, you're sh you got a short bench there, and you got a team like Eastern that's just, and they're able to go three, four lines deep and roll into guys that need to in the ice, whatever the combination you need. Well, Eastern definitely has improved each game. That's why I was wondering what, how they were going to respond in December and January because they started off so strong in the year. They look mid-season form on that one, but they have. They've improved every game I've watched them. Uh, minus a Butte trip down there because I didn't go down to that trip. But they've shown some really, really good signs of growing. Got to peak at the right time. That's what they're doing. Shaw, White Skates must have got tripped up on that blue line there. And Fell down, but makes up for with a big hit there. So I guess he wanted to take that out on Springer. Yeah, I guess. You know, blue line got him, and he takes it out on Springer. That's tough, tough bounce for Springer. Stevenson, kind of delayed. He'll pass it over to the Idaho, by the Idaho player. Idaho will bring it in. He'll pass it right to Shaw. Shaw over to Minderman. Minderman now. With Brownie, what a good move to get the puck using his body. Puck squirts out, now you got to cry check, to cry check, off the boards over Stevenson. Stevenson loses it, but able to gain control. To cry check now over Brownie. Brownie, one time and goal! Did you see that pass oh, by the cry check? That was just unbelievable. That was pretty. Jeez. You know, 
what, what do you do if you're Idaho? I mean, you had Sewell right there. He was in perfect position of it. The pass, what the cry check did was incredible. And there was nothing Zool did wrong on that from Idaho. He had right position on it. It was just a sweet little pass. I could definitely say we say right now it's all Eagles uh, with a 7-1 score. Stevenson now, dangerous pass out front. Now Ouellette will get it. He'll skate out of the zone. Headman's up to Pearly. Pearly's the cry check and Ouellette comes in the zone for the Eagles. Pearly takes it down low. Pearly takes a check. Sewell did a nice body check on Pearly. He now did. Browning just shot. Stood him up. It up. That's going to be a hand pass, hand pass most likely. Well, there's no question. Draft people that are listening to this broadcast, they need to go down the barrel house. There's going to be some awfully happy, happy Eagles if they continue at this pace in this oh, hockey yeah. game. Well, some of the things that you just look at, especially with, you know, strength of schedule and rankings and it's kind of a unique system. Tyler Pasani keeps trying to explain it to me, but it's definitely a unique one. But it's, you know, Idaho plays Boise, and Boise's one of those ranked teams, and we play Idaho like this. It's, it's not unheard of to think the Eagles can sneak into the rankings here towards the end of the first quarter here. I don't know how they could. I, I, again, there's a lot of teams in this league, but Pierce has a puck bringing it up. That was a nice, nice little move. dangle. Nice little play. And then O'Donnell just standing on his head again. Pierce and Hicks down there just hacking away on it. You got to give them kudos. That was a great move. They haven't quit. Idaho hasn't given up. Nope. Now the puck will come out to Ouellette. 239 here in the second period. Ouellette. Zakaria check and Bo Browning is going to go to the bench. Zakaria check with a nice little behind the back pass to himself. And puck will come down. Would be an icing, but it's going to come to O'Donnell. O'Donnell shoots the puck up to Ouellette. Let draw pass over to Mike O. Mike O now charging towards the net. He'll feed out front to let. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know. They're, they're going to get him. I don't know about that one. They're going to get Ouellette on that one. At go, either goaltender interference or a cross check. They're probably going to get him with a goaltender interference, but it looked like Ouellette tried to, to pull up and he kind of got hit into the goaltender, but still can't touch him. No, he, he did run into him. You can't fall back call right there, but I do think Ouellette tried to avoid it, but he was definitely well in that crease when he ran into him. Oh, yeah. Well, now with two minutes remaining in the second period, he should be down a man for the last, to the last five seconds of the period. I mean, if I don't want any chance, this is, they got to they gotta capitalize here. They got Doan out there on the point. He's a good point man, especially on the power play. Well, he is definitely. Looks like the net came off. We'll get that re-centered up and we'll get a face off and do it all over again. I'm a little bit surprised. I don't see Pierce out there right now for Idaho. You got Sprinkle out there. You got, it looks like Dones out there. Looks like uh, Tiktoskis out there. And um, Hicks is out there right now. And you would figure Pierce would be out there because he's probably one of their main offensive players. Dones did a nice job of bringing it in all the way down low. Shot O'Donnell turns to the side. Can't cover, able to cover up there. They clear him out front. Well, Shaw took exception of that one, but then Sprinkle wasn't real happy with that hit either, so. Boring, I think, might have just did Springer a favor to not go after Shaw there. I was generating some pretty decent offense on this power play right now. It's just tough when you got netminder like O'Donnell in there. Yeah. But if you look, this is what I was talking about a little earlier. Idaho has not quit playing as right now. They've got it where it's only three differential on the shots. And Eastern had a huge advantage on that earlier. See, there's Pierce down there now just there battling. Bat just battling just on it. Hicks is just that battling on it, too. They're, I give Idaho a lot of credit. 
Down seven to one. They, they have not stopped playing. There's a lot of scrambling here in the final memory period. There's a They're penalty. gonna get yeah. Pearly. Yeah. He did hit Hicks pretty hard he in the did. back. <laughs> nice stop by O'Donnell on that one. Net minor the bench. Stevens able to touch up and with 43 seconds remaining. Him. Colin Pearlie looks like he's going to go to the box. I don't think he agreed with the call, but yeah, that was it, it was definitely a clean hit in the back on that one. Pearlie never does. But I do like that. I do like his game, though. Well, Vandals now with a two-man advantage for the 37 seconds. Yeah, Pearly with a boarding call. Little give and go by Hicks and Johnson and Lee. Oh, nice little bam bam play old Donald stop. Out there for the East, you have to cry check, Boring and Jeffs. A nice little shot by Don on the, right on the net. O'Donnell's made a nice save on that. Ten seconds remaining here in the period. Shot off the post. Dome's doing a real nice job on defense right now for Idaho. Another one-timer. That's the period. Idaho looked real strong in that last 30 seconds. They did. Well, at two, it's uh, Eastern Eagles seven. Idaho Vandals won. Uh, what do you think, Gary? Well, don't let the score really fool you in a way. Idaho picked up their play. Eastern playing outstanding. But it's interesting, I'm looking at the shots on goal, 23 shots for Eastern and 22 for Idaho. They closed that gap up. But right now Eastern is taking it to them, but Idaho hasn't stopped playing. They're still trying out there, and that, that does a credit to them. So anyway, we're gonna take an 18 minute break. If you're trying to figure out what you wanna do right now, get on down to the Barrel House or come up here at the URC and watch the third period of action. See you in about 17 minutes.
Welcome back, Eastern fans. Score seven to one. Start of third period. Eastern's up. Shots 23 for Eastern, 22 for Idaho. What's your takeaway on that second period, draft compared to the first? Well, uh, you got to give Idaho credit. I mean, they're fighting. They're not giving up. They're still coming out. They're still getting everything they can, which is nice. But uh, I just they're all good right now. Yeah, Eastern just playing a lot better than they are. Um, they, uh, a little bit of a shakeup. If you look down on the pipes, you've got Jake Bowen in net for the Heats. Um, kind of one of the deals was is uh, O'Donnell said he'd stay until he had the shutout. So I guess when the goals got scored, he was going to skate to the bench. But Pat told him he didn't want to look terrible. He pulls it out to one goal. So yeah, it's good though for Bowen to get some work in behind the net too, because you never know. Um, you don't want your other goalies to be rusty in case they have to come in. So it's a good move all the way around. Absolutely, Bowen and. Tegan Ball, both uh, both other goaltenders still have a couple years left to play with the Eagles, so it's, you know, unfortunately it's Tyler O'Donnell's last season, so I want to make sure the guys are still happy and still getting some playing time and getting ready to move forward and looking towards next year. But that will be a loss for him. Oh, yeah. It's kind of one of those you always go back, what if, and O'Donnell doesn't decide to try to play defense for the first couple games. Of, Oh, wow. Oh, nice play. See, there, there's Pierce again. I, I've been talking about him for the last two periods. He's in the right place at the right time. Hicks did a nice job of passing it up front to him. Wide open net. Yep, there's nothing Bowen to do there. No, that was a good Sam Sam play on that one. Give Idaho credit with that. But again, that goes back to what you were saying, too. Idaho has not quit in this game, even though now they're down 7-2. to two. They're still fighting away on it, trying to pick away at Eastern. Uh, hopefully Eastern doesn't come complacent and think the game's all over right now and keep going. We get that number 17 from 10 and 7. Pierce from Hicks. But he's a good hockey player. I'm not sure where he played, but he played some junior somewhere. Pierce has. Not sure what Sewell is doing in the net there, uh, but they finally blew the whistle on that one. Let me take a little nap. He was way in there, so I was, I was surprised the whistle didn't blow a little bit sooner on that one. Lee did a nice job as it dumped the puck down down so Peterson can get a shot at it. Oh, nice hit. And Shaw. Shaw and Miniman have nicknamed themselves the Bash Brothers. So, it's a. Uh, that was a nice Mighty Dust reference for him. Yeah, no, I remember that. Isaiah um, Lee just unloaded a slap shot from the top of the blue line. Nice stop by Bowen on that one, because that was a rocket. See, if you notice there, Idaho won the faceoff. Uh, Sewell's doing the same thing he does. He's not drawing it back. He's shooting the puck in, trying to get a quick shot on that. And that time it was a little bit too far for him, but that, that is definitely his face-off game. So cry check, open slot, finds Stevenson. Stevenson tries to get a pass over Browning, but not quite all the way through and able to cover up. Warren did a nice job of standing his ground on that shot, even though it was a little light. He did a nice job of left to right on that. Let nice shop a better glove save. Wow. Yeah, that was a quick bang bang off the face off. Moore did a nice job of snagging it with his glove hand. You should continue to put shots on. And then shooting it up at the top of the circle, that surprised me that they're getting such clean shots from that far away. Drowning with a little rapper. Spin her arm up, turned away, but still a pretty cool little move from him. I know now with a break. Pierce is good. Pierce isn't quitting. He's, he's playing hard. Yep. That Hicks, Johnson, and um, Pierce line, that's a solid line for Idaho. It is. And nice and tall here on the Eats and Eagles. 
17-42 left in the period. 7-2 Eastern. Again, don't forget, get down to that bear house in about 20 minutes. Meet some of the players, enjoy some good food down there. In the heart of Cheney. Early, looks like he takes a check. All oh, seems to be okay, that's good news there. Actually, it almost looked like he did a body check on Lee down at the far end. Little offsides, well, another face off. Just outside of the U of I's bench. Nope, I lied. Now we're going to U of bench, okay? <laughs> All the players and myself are fooled, so. Smith wins a draw, Kapelke. They'll hit it off the boards and. Michael, a little chip pass over to Gilming. Gilming behind the, behind the net to Browning, or to Boring. Boring over to Smith. Smith and Kapelke now, a little two on two for the Eagles. Smith shot just above the net. Kapelke able to get to it first. He'll put it behind the net again to Smith. Smith trying to set it out front to Michael, just past the stick, and I was able to clear. That was a nice play by Isaiah Lee. He stuck with the puck and, and floated out by the defense. Line. Oh, nice shot by Sewell. Went a little high, went off the stick of it. I'm not sure who it was, maybe Smith. So that hole just seems a little bit off. They're just about a half a skate too slow tonight. Third period has been pretty choppy. Not a lot of flow to it. A lot of stops and starts. A lot of icings, a couple offsides. Yeah, a lot. It's a lot choppier than the first two periods that it would happen. Hicks won a face off, got it kicked it back over to Doan. Nice shot by Doan. Bowen did a nice job of covering up on that shot. So what's next for Eastern Travel? What's their schedule looking like? They got break next. They're off until January, and then these two teams will face off again for a interesting matchup, if you will. This weekend, Eastern's the home team, but since Idaho doesn't have a regulation size rink, the next two matchups, uh, Eastern will be the away team in their own rink. And Idaho will be the home team. Then there is a week off. And hopefully that's when we're going to try to get this makeup game played from yesterday in. And then the Eagles head down to Eugene, play the Ducks. Ducks come up here, and then we got conference tournament. Jeff with a good hit there. I was surprised Pierce didn't see that because Jess went about halfway across the rink. And you could tell that's all he was going to do was try to uh, do a hip check on him. Nice wraparound by Hicks. Bones playing a strong game right yeah. there. Um, he's had to make a couple real hard stops off of Idaho. That's always tough to do too is come off the bench cold after, you know, get a nice little warm up and have to sit for two periods and have to hit the ice again. That's tough. But. But he doesn't look like he's skipping a beat right now because he's been on top of his game. There's, been, like I said, a couple really good saves he's made. It's a cry check now in the zone for the Eagles. He squirts it out front. Stevenson, Stevenson now down behind the red. Trying to get it out front to Browning, unable to do so. He's just kind of skating with it wherever he wants to go. Dumps it now finally back down to Browning. Browning tries to chip ahead as a cry check, but it's a nice defense right there by the Vandals. Yeah, that's Sewell down there battling Browning. Oh! <laughs> that was just an unfortunate bounce for the netminder right home. Well, what, a, what the cry check did was he bounced it off with his pad, back of his pad and skate, and he got it right in. That was a smart play by him because I think he was actually trying to do that. And now it'll be look interesting looking at the replay, but it does look like the try check perfectly tried to knock it off the back of the pad. Nice shot. 8-2 to two right now, Eastern. 
14 48 to go here in the third. There you go. Hurley and Brown need an assist on that play. The cry check again tries to make a move, poke checked away by the Vandals. Vandals able to try to get a, or able to get cleared. Now we've got a little one on one situation here. Stevenson battling, gets a stick on it. But Vandals answer right back. That was a nice job by Johnson right there. And Liam just took the puck and just went all full bore on top of it. Johnson did a nice job on that one. Bowen was kind of handicapped on that one. It went up to the top shelf. Nice play by Idaho. So after a really choppy start this period, two back-to-back -back goals. Well, that's kind of how the flow of the game is uh, right now. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. It's almost like a shooting gallery. You take one, I'll take one, and we'll see who gets the most at the end. But you can't blame Eastern on that one. They, they, they've wrapped this game up for a while now. Give it number 10 with assist at number 17 for the Vandals on that goal. Yeah, that, that was Hicks. Uh, no, that was Johnson from Pierce, which we've said their name a lot We tonight. have. Definitely a dynamic duo with those two. Smith gets a couple extra shots in there. Yeah, I think he was just trying to tell Don how well he's played in yeah, his defense. So. Give me a little couple taps. The referees are having a little conference right now. Finally dropped the puck. Michael able to squeak what in there. So. That, was, that was another one. If you're looking at it, it looked like it went off the back of the goalie's it pad. It did. So I'm not sure if he's having difficulties coming and hugging the post or that's what Eastern's doing right now, aiming for the back of the pad. But that's two back-to-backs off that. That's what I was saying. It looks like a shooting gallery right now. It he's, does. He's take two or three. Idaho takes two or three, and they go back and forth. A lot of goals are getting out there on the board now. Keeping the scorekeeper busy down that box. Want to make sure he's staying awake. We'll give it to Michael on his sister. Michael on his sister. So no ice. Just back league by his own net. He chips it up to Otnes. Otnes now on the near side board tries to get to Shaw. Shaw takes a big hit. Fancy saying that again. Trying to get, he's trying to get a little fancy on that one rather than just sticking around. He's trying to, who is that dude keep trying to pass between his legs? This play solid. Min to min. So Shaw takes a shot. Had Otnes. I don't know if he saw him there or not. That would have been a good backdoor pass. Minterman's too good of a hockey player to try some of those moves. He's got a great game, but he got a little fancy twice on those right there and almost bit him on that one because I thought Doan was going to intercept it and they had kicks floating out top of that blue line for Idaho. Trying to give us, try to pretend like we're something big ESPN show or something. No highlight reels here, boys. Sorry. Minterman now has Shaw and Otnes coming up the wing, a little three on two. Shaw outside the change. Minderman Shaw outside the net. It's still out front. Otnes gets a shot in. Otnes centers it. It's deflected away by the Vandals. Johnson shoots the puck in around the corner. Hicks is down there for Idaho. Try to chop it back up, but the Lee missed it. it. Ooh. I think it's time to start to figure out the cry check a little bit. Two guys are always on him. But I still don't know if you figured him out yet. You uh, might be able to try to do that, but he still got the puck down low. He did. He's, he's one of those dynamic players. Stevenson now with oh, some nice hands. Oh, he's doing some dangling out there tonight. There's Pierce. Pierce has a nice little spin around Ooh, right there. Ooh, that was there. nice off the post. Pearly, he doesn't seem like he's getting along with number seven very much. If you, if you look about how Pearly's tracking him and trying to get that extra shot in there. 
Yeah, but Pierce and Johnson right there for Idaho did a nice job again as a, as, as a duo of a quick passing back and forth. Got a nice shot on Bowen. <laughs> the cry check stopped so hard the player almost fell down. That's, uh, that's some talent there. The cry check centers, puck still loose. Still loose, goes by the net. Now Roulette's got it. Diving save by one of the Vandals players. That was Dalton that made the dive on that one. Sacrificing the body there. The cry check shot, deflected wide. Now Roulette's shot. You get another deflection. Vandals trying to get it out, goes to Pearly. Pearly gets it down low for Browning. Puck takes a weird bounce off the boards there. Well, that's some great hand-eye coordination. Tries to go top shelf just over the net. Vandal still can't clear. The cry check over oh, Stevenson. Stevenson dumps it low. Roulette on the chase now. 10:39 remaining here in the period. Dolan's trying to get the puck out for Ryan Hall, but I, Eastern's just swarming oh. up. What a move by Roulette right there. They're gonna. Yeah, I don't finally got it out, but it'll be nice. Now we're getting icing, but definitely a needed break for the Vandals. This is a total, for that last minute and a half, a total shooting gallery for Eastern right there. That was incredible. That's, sometimes that's just fun to watch. Yeah, it was, because I know it wasn't running around. They were trying to get the puck out, and they just could not do it. Eastern wouldn't allow it. Pelkey now for the East. He tries to center it up. It's a Smith. Smith still loose. Ooh. Whistle blow. We can see it here, but a, out of the official view and got to blow that dead. Vandal's getting a much needed change here. But again, the pressure Eastern's putting on Idaho right now is intense. It is just totally relentless what they're doing on offense. Has had a few good practices after they got back from Butte. They look sharp tonight, Eastern. I think one of the big keys is they got a little bit of rest. That Thanksgiving holiday, some of the guys are able to get healthy again, and that's uh, that's always nice when you get most of the guys back to the lineup. Oh, they're playing well tonight, really well tonight. You folks can see that gentleman standing in the red shirt right there outside the boards, the green tenant. That's uh, Nathan Clark, an Eagle player who's unfortunately done for the remainder of the season, so they put him to work. Yeah. Well, it keeps him involved that way. Yep. Smith now with it for the Eagles. He's sending it over to Michael. Good kick save. There, now Michael with it. He's going to try to send it to Kapelke. Kapelke just can't get a stick on it for the deflection. Boring tries to get it low and able to do so. Smith now battling. Eagles just relentless with the pressure. Sprinkle trying to bring it out there right off the bat. He got lamb blasted. I think it was Hicks. And Eastern has the puck again. Now Boring taking it down low. With a drop pass for Otnis. Otnis able to continue to get it down low. He's battling, trying to find Smith out front. Back over to Jeff. Jeff keeps it in for the Eags. Now he'll take it low. Jeff to Smith. Smith into the glove. That's that's one Smith's going to want back there. He, uh, yeah. he had a big side of the net and is right in the glove of the goaltender there. I don't know one thing. Warren's going to be exhausted oh, after yeah. tonight for Idaho. Jeez, he's, he's doing a nice job with that many shots from Eastern in. He's playing well, but you know he's got to be getting fatigued by now. Hopefully uh, he rode with somebody, so he didn't have to drive home tonight. Shawl shot right into the chest of a Vandal player. They're able to get it out. McKay turns it back down loose. Low for the Eats. They touch back up and back on the chase. Shawl tracking. Minderman now able to try to chip it down low. Unable to do so, and Vandals have it now. Lose the zone. Trying to do a little bang bang play between Hicks and Lee. Ooh, they finally got a shot off on it. That was a nice shot by Lee. Yeah, that was man. a weird one too. Kind of got stuck in Bowen's blocker and kind of just dropped on him. Well, 8 11 left in the game. 9 to 3 Eastern over Idaho. 
faceoffs in Eastern Zan. So Krajacek taking the draw for the Eats. He'll win it back to Jess. Jess will send it back around the net. He'll find Browning. He chips up to Krajacek. So Krajacek will let a little two on two here for the Eats. So Krajacek, nice move. He's able to center it. Buck will come all the way back down the Eastern Zan. Boy, Johnson has some wheels on him. Oh, he, does. he is quick. And again, Eastern with that pressure. This is just this line's just fun to watch. All their chemistry together. They are. both seem to see know where each other is going to be at all times, and they will do some fantastic plays with that. Yeah, that's a real solid unit for Eastern. Especially when it kicks Stevenson on defense with him because that's another offensive minded player out there. Good news for Eagle fans, Luke Browning is only a sophomore, so a couple of years left of Luke's career here at Eastern. And well, the Browning is only a he's only sophomore. Well, I could easily see him being a 20 goal scorer. Eagles are going to need someone to step up on offense, lose a new let, and uh, Zakaria yeah, Jackson. So. Yeah, that's the, and with the goalie gone, that's, those are three losses that are going to be tough. Oh, Coach Hamlin's got his uh, recruiting cut out for him, that's for sure. Again, that cover is a bear breeze, and they got a lot of good players on this team. Well, one thing that's exciting to see what. Uh, I'm excited to see in the future is Coach Hanlon's ability to recruit. Um, coming from the BCHL program, that's kind of one of his premier focuses was help recruiting. He's bringing players such as Bo Walker, Hayden Boring, and Trevor Skrychek here to the program. So a little bit of extra funding uh, and his ability and the connections around Northwest. Uh, the, I think the Eagles have a strong future out of them. Well, I definitely think nationally now, Eastern's got to be getting a reputation for their hockey team because that's a solid record. And then you got the Krychek. And I don't know where he's at scoring-wise, but he's got to be in the top 20 by now. Oh, yeah, he's 24th coming in the night. So. But the problem the Krychek's facing is that he's only played 13 of the games for the league so far, and all these other guys are up to 25, 26 yeah. games. So. Because yeah. he could easily have another six, seven, eight points for him if he had those other games on him. Tonight will definitely help him out. Well, 6 11 here left in the remainder of the game. Your Eagles up 9 3 on the Vandals. Shots 33 30 in favor of the Eagles. And a nice little move by Pearly that last was. time. That's fortunate it was offside, but that was a nice little dick he did on that guy. He had a clear shot. Odd and stuff for the Eagles. He'll take a shot to flick it into the netting and we'll have another face off. Actually, we haven't mentioned it though. There's been a nice little crowd here tonight yeah. too again. I haven't seen the numbers yet, but not bad for it being uh, the week before finals and students are just trying to study, get wrapped up for the quarter, so. Starting to look like Eastern's constantly in Idaho zone right now. They played the majority of this period down there. They have. This is just trying to help out the ice crew. Only keeping them one half of the ice messy. Oh, oh, here comes Pierce again. Oh, though. here's these two again. We've got Sprinkle trailing it. He had a nice little shot right there. Big save by Bowen. Off the glass and up to Shaw. Shaw. He'll pull up and wait for an Eastern player. Shot deflected wide. You know, Bowen's had a strong period. He is, period. for having to come off the bench like that. Yeah, he's played very impressive. So cry check with it now. Does a wraparound. Goes in front, Brownie with the backhand. Nets comes off its bearings. Plays blown dead, but just those two always seem to find each other. 
Well, they're extremely comfortable. They know, they don't even have to look. They just know where they're going right now. And you can see that in their play. Because a couple of those plays, you knew that they didn't, you couldn't tell they were there. But it, like the cry check knew it right then. The grounding was going to be on the side of the net. Nice little pass. There's Crycheck, another wrap around. around. He likes that play he tonight. He does. He was just challenging himself to do something different. But again, it goes back to that quickness he has. Because uh, he's starting deep behind the net, and he just shoots out of there. Oh. Stevenson, it's a nice stick on him there. Shot covered up again, and Eastern's just peppering the shots now. They're just swarming around the net. Warren's played well, but there's always so much he can do. Only 427 left in the third period. I don't envision Idaho coming back in six goals, but it will be interesting to see how they finish Ooh. the game off. Around Michael for the Eagles. He's got it behind Vandal's net. He'll center up to Stevenson. Stevenson will try to throw it out front. Pucks bounce it. Stevenson gets it again. Just throws it on net. There's real no holes open there to score from. But now Smith with it. I like what I'm seeing Eastern doing. They're pinching down Stevenson, their defenseman, and so they're leaving Pearly kind of like in the middle as the only defenseman. That, that's putting pressure on the goalie. You kind of see how they're starting to wear out a little gas here. They're not able to get the puck clear as much anymore. And, but well, they're, they're holding off the Eags. Well, it's the format Hanlon's went to. Uh, just putting Stevenson out there and letting him go off, and that's why Pearly's playing the defense on it. Smith again with a nice shot. Just couldn't get it up on it, get in the back of the net. Pearly, nice job drawing the man to him there, holding hold up on the shot. Kapelke. Well, nope. we got Smith unhappy with, I think, is Doan, who took a shot in the back of another Eastern player. Uh, Peterson got involved with it, too, for Idaho. But Smith definitely took exception to it, but there's not going to be a penalty. I didn't see the referee hold his arms up, but that did look like a hit in the back. Now the referees are talking amongst each other. Now they did get Idaho on that one. I and think, Kim, I think Kim, Kim, Kim and Smith. Well, I knew someone was having, I knew Lee took a shot at him, and that's when Smith came back on, so they're just taking both off. Time out here for Idaho. I think more fine just got tires at all. Yeah, yeah, I need a break. A little rest here. So you going down the barrel house tonight, D? Yep, I'll be down there. Yeah, just come down there, people, and we'll come say hi to the players. They're going to be in a good mood tonight after this victory. And yeah, we're wrapping up the regular season championship, so it's nice to see the Eagles back on top. So another banner. Another banner is going to look good up there this year. And actually, the way Eastern's playing right now, unless something really weird happens, they, I, I, I would give them, that would have to say they're the favorite to oh, pull yeah. this off. It's always been a nice row between Western and Eastern. Yeah, so Western's going to have something to say about it, but man, Eastern's been looking good this year. Definitely probably one of the best Eastern programs that I've been here for sure. Shaw's going to take the draw here. Up there as well, you're going to have Minderman, Boring, and Gilming. It's going to be an interesting call here. They decided to take both guys and not have an offset, so it's four on four hockey here for the next minute and 55 seconds. A lot of ice here, a lot of ice. I don't know if Idaho is crazy about seeing that much ice in right now because <laughs> oh. they have to be worn out by now. 
Again, Hicks is still motoring. He got taken down right there, but man, he was moving well. Man, man, will just get the puck down deep. Boring on the chase. Boring finishes the check there. Minderman finishes the check. Eag's still hitting. Now Shaw's going to come back with the puck with Gilming. Still circle back around. Gilming is able to find Minderman. He'll leave it off. Boring. Boring will take it in for the Eags. Drop pass just a little too hard. Gilming blowing a tire there. Dangerous shot out there. Shaw tried to grab the puck and lost the glove there, so he'll go to the bench and get a change. Still don't know who number one is, Friday, but he's had a strong game tonight. You're going to have to. If you're forgetting his jersey, you got to play good. It's the cry check again. He makes an unbelievable move. Back around, poke check just wide. He looks at the center, he's got boring. Now over to Jeff, a minute 43 remaining in the, in the game. 26 seconds remaining in both penalties here. Roulette battling it forward just outside of the Vandal zone. Full tied up, squirts up to Krajacek who tries to hit Jeff, who's just a couple steps ahead of him there. Jeff to go D to D with McKay. And McKay will circle back around. It's kind of oh. quick pocketed right oh, there. That's Pierce there again. Oh. Bowen stepping up big there. You can't sleep on that kid. No. I'm telling you, Pierce is all over the place. Sewell is looking for him the whole time right there, and, and all Pierce did was stay down there low, got a nice little shot off. One minute remaining here in the game. Eagles having a hard time getting the puck out of their end. Just out of habit, I looked down and see if I was going to pull their goalie, but then I kind of realized that might have been a little ridiculous. One last rush from this line. Sukrajacek boring. Sukrajacek makes a move, another move. Oh, unable to get the shot off. Puck still loose. We got 30 seconds left here, folks. Roulette chips it around, goes through the center of the crease. No luck. Sukrajacek just crushes a kid. That was Sewell that he put oh. up against the bar. That was a major hit. Sewell's up now, skating back down the ice. But man, that was a hard hit. That for sure. Ooh, Browning now. With 11 seconds remaining in the game, gets it up to Ouellette. Max tries to keep himself, tries to break one more move. Five seconds remaining. They're just going to let. Oh, are they going to let it run out? They're going to let it run out, and that's the game. Well, folks, 9 to 3. Eastern wins this one over Idaho. Shots 36 for Eastern, 31 for Idaho. That's what that's kind of misleading because if you look at a five goal, a five shot differential, you think the game would be closer, but it really wasn't. Uh, not on the scoreboard, on the play, also out there. Definitely one of the best performances from Eastern seen all year. It's nice seeing them step, step up and have such a great game. They played real well tonight. They looked real solid. They're both sides, defense, offense. Goaltending was superb tonight from both goalies. Now they just played really well tonight. So anyway, folks, we're going to wrap it up here. Again, go on down to the Barrel House Pizza, Hardicini. Come down, say hi to some of the players. They'll be real happy. They just clinched the, the league. We want to wish all of our viewers out there a happy holidays. And, yeah, we'll see you next year type thing. That's right. Well, we'll see you guys next year. <laughs>